Let me wait for this to catch up. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> hey, everyone, welcome back to the study site. I'm Sunny, and these are the weekly horoscopes and tarot reading for the week of March 29th to April 2nd, 2021. <laughs> hey, everyone, welcome back. I hope everyone is having a super, super amazing day. For those who don't know, this horse, um, I am a professional astrologer. When you're ready for a personal reading, hit the PayPal link in the description box below. In addition to that, this is a live reading. Not this live. I'm shooting these horoscopes live. Um, and that's the deal. So if I start to laugh or I get distracted, it's because I'm hanging out with the sunny siders here on the chat. And that's the action. <laughs> Eric is in the laugh. No, man. I'm like, this is my serious face. <laughs> I look pretty serious right now. All right. Uh, Jenna says about something. No, no, no. I get to calm down. It was a long time ago, Jenna. I don't remember exactly what I said. All right, let's get down to the horoscopes. A uh, reminder, if everyone, anyone wants a personal reading, hit the PayPal link in the description box below. For those who are new here, uh, we're going to do the overview, then a tarot reading for everyone, and then we're going to get down to the individual signs. In addition to all of this, I have a really cool app. It's called the Sunnyside Astrology. I highly recommend you download it. It's free. I'm not the only one on the app. My main moderator here, Ginger, is on the app as well. And um, a very good friend of ours is on the app as well. And uh, it's, you know, check it out. Check it out. I'm always looking for different people to promote. So if you have a regular, if you're like, you have to be like you know, consistent with your, your, your uh, videos. But if you're a regular uploader and, um, you know, I might, you know, I might add you to the app. Just let me know. Okay, what else is going on? That's enough information. What else? I'm in Toronto right now. Uh, the folks are sick. I'm taking care of everything here. And um, that's the action. All right, let's get on with it. Everybody cool? Everybody cool? <laughs> okay. Here we go. So what am I? Oh, okay. Overview first. Okay. So let me wait for my monitor to catch up. Oh, thanks, Melody. Yeah, I really like the app as well. It's pretty cool. Hey, Imran, I hope you're having a beautiful day. And hey, Anna Rose, hope, so I hope you're having a wonderful day over in Slovenia. Okay, here we go, here we go. And <laughs> I'm not gonna, I want to repeat what Erica has been making me say, but I'm not, I'm not. Okay, so here's the overview. First up, this is what a full moon looks like. The moon is opposite the sun, right? It's past. See, it's at 18 degrees. The sun is at 8 degrees over here, 18 and 8. So it's it's past, right? Or the time that I've set up uh, this particular screenshot is past the full moon, but technically past. But this is what it looks like. And it doesn't matter if you're using uh, side real astrology or tropical astrology, or it doesn't matter if you're a Pisces from a different universe, or you're an Aries who wants to smite everything, or you're a Libra who wants to... Be friends with everything. It doesn't matter. The sun opposite the moon, or the moon opposite the sun, is a full moon. That period. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what, And this is what it looks like in your chart. Now, we're not going to talk about the full moon because it's not really going to affect the week, but much of the week. It might have a, a little bit of a lingering effect. It's a separating aspect. For those who don't know what this, uh, applying and separating aspects are, I'll tell you another time. We talk about the full moon all the time here. And I'm actually going to talk about this aspect right here, and I'll explain that in a sec. It's, and I'm going to use the moon analogy. But before we move on very quickly, I'm going to say the full moon, when you have a full moon, it's very simple. It's in addition to all the new agey stuff you hear everybody say about, like whatever they say, the full moon is your subconscious. The, the light is the sun is the light obviously it should be obvious it's everything you see what you know people are looking at aries right now where they're looking in that direction but the moon is everything you don't see the moon is your subconscious but when we have a full moon the light shines directly onto your subconscious so whatever you are on the inside whatever you're doing you know secrets you know what happened things that you didn't know are going to come to light. And that's what happens to a full moon. Things about you, things about wherever it is in your chart, if it's in your third house, things about your computer, you know, things about your brothers and sisters. In For Aries, it's going to be about their personal relationships. It depends. 
But whenever there's a full moon, the guy's subconscious or oh, anyways, things you don't know whether uh, about yourself, like if you're sick and you don't really know it during the full moon, it's going to pop out and you go, oh man, I, I'm actually sick. And so that's the deal. That's the deal with a full moon. It's not as like um, ethereal or kumbaya or mystical or like uncomprehensible incomprehensible or um, esoteric or whatever word you want to use. That's what it means. Your subconscious or the things that are hidden come to light. That's all it means, man. And for the most part, I would imagine that some secrets or some things that are hidden either about you guys or around you guys or related or you heard came to light. You found out some information. All right, good. Let's move on. <laughs> That's good. We'll talk about that again next month. This here seems to be the big deal right now. Venus is crossing the sun. See that eight, nine degrees. Now, the thing is, we, the thing is, this is a conjunction. And in my class, you know, when you guys take my, if anyone takes my class, we talk about these things. And in a conjunction, it's as if it's about like you start to see a conjunction. You can't really see anything like it's, it's uh, one of the words we use in astrology is combust. And you can't, it doesn't mean the energy doesn't the combust kind of means the energy is not what you think it means, but or it's dissipated. But we're looking at it in a more practical way because these are horoscopes, right? You want to know if you're going to get the girl. You want to know if you're going to get the job. These are horoscopes. This is not Kumbaya. This is not granola time, right? Granola time you can read on Facebook or Instagram this um, or Twitter, <laughs> Twitter. All right. This is so what happens is. The sun. So when Venus crosses the sun, and you know, you don't always see it. You know, you might see it, you might not. It might appear as a dot against the sun. But what's happening is the. It's like a door is opening, and it's the same with the moon, right? Whenever we have this conjunction, it's not. It's not is what. It's not always what you think. You you have the potential. It's let's look at it another way. The door is opening. Things are moving from behind the scenes, right? Things are moving from back here where you don't see it to over here where you actually do see it. So for some people, you might have been in, you know, so this is about the light shining on Venus. And so your Venus energy or what's happening if you surf the Venus energy and Venus is in the sky for everybody, for those who don't realize it. There is love in your chart every day if you know where to look. And I'm showing you guys where to where to look. So when Venus is behind the sun, you're not, you know, you might be in a secret relationship. You might be in a situation where people don't really know you're in a relationship. Or you might be in a situation where there's, uh, you want to be a little bit more private or a little bit more reclusive with your uh, emotions. There's also a possibility that you don't actually feel or recognize the love around you. Someone might love you and you're like, no, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. Actually, Venus behind the sun, Venus in front of the sun right now, by the way, Venus behind the sun is a situation of, that's when you say, you hear people say, nobody loves me, nobody loves me, because like they don't see it, they don't recognize it. It's not readily perceptible to them because it's behind the sun. But, and, but, when or you're going to look at someone and say, hey, man, they're not in any relationship. That girl's single. I'm going to go make my move. Ah. Playa. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so. But when Venus crosses the sun. The light begins to shine on all of this. So and, and in addition to that, we have we have the full moon where secrets are coming out anyways or behind the scenes or hidden stuff or subconscious desires are coming to the light, fully coming to the light. So what we're finding right now, and as we move forward, see, as we move forward, right, as we move forward, you're going to see more and more of this Venus. And you're going to recognize more and more of this Venus. So if you've been not, anyways, let's go back. So the doors are beginning to open. So you're going to have breakthroughs in love. Now, or so it doesn't mean you're suddenly going to get the girl. Not at all. If the girl, if you find out, so 
you, so what's going to happen is you're going to get your answers. You're going to find out if the guy's dating someone else. You're going to find out if the guy likes you. It doesn't mean the guy does like you. You're going to find out if he does like you. You're going to find out if the girl likes you. You're going to find out if the guy's dating a couple other girls on the side. You're going to find out other things. It's Venus. It's attraction. And it's attraction and rapport. Harmonious attra uh, attraction and rapport. You're going to find out if you get the job. You're going to find out if you get a raise. You're going to find out if you're going to get a check or not. Right now, the light should be shining on attraction. So the light is shining on... Uh, you're going to get your money now, like tax return or a government check or the um, a win a legal battle, uh, depending on your sign, of course. But all of these things are going to be get, come to light. And as you move down the road, more and more of that is going to shine. And that is what going, that's what's happening as Venus crosses the sun. It's the same when we have a new moon. When we have a new moon, this subconscious energy, you're going to be like, oh, maybe. You know, the moon, your subconscious desires. Hey, lovely, what's up? I hope you're having a super beautiful day. And so as you move forward, what's going to happen is the, the um, so like in a new moon, for example, the so consider this like a new Venus. Okay? It's like a new Venus. It's not exactly, but it's like a new Venus. Now, if we were in like a new moon, for example, your subconscious is on display. You might feel as if you're hitting the wall, hitting the wall, hitting the wall as you approach a new moon. But when you have that new moon energy, especially a couple of days after the new moon, right? The separating aspect in a new moon is significantly more important in my book than the applying aspect. And when you see that, a light, the door is going to open on some of your subconscious desires. The door is going to open, new moon, on your moon, subconscious desires, right? It's a full moon, guys. Try and pay attention. <laughs> okay, so the, I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to the people watching the, who are going to watch the video later. So in a new Venus, which we're going through, it's not your subconscious desires, right? That's the moon. The new Venus is attraction of love, harmony, rapport. New Venus is like a new job. New Venus is a new uh, breakthrough in relationships. Whether that breakthrough in a relationship is time to move on or it's time to hook up again. But I'm telling you guys, we talked, hey, Roma, hey, Roma, level one class tonight. I hope you're having a beautiful day. And so the uh, moving through. So just like I said earlier, remember we were talking a little earlier before I started recording the video and I said, I sure learned a lot about some people last night. <laughs> you know, as we were going through the full moon, I'm like, Bleh. and that's a combination of the light shining fully on someone's subconscious BS that most people, you know, that you don't always see, and this breakthrough with the Venus crossing the sun. It's for better or for worse, and that's that's the deal. That's the deal in the action. So, I hope, so that's the deal. So take it all with a grain of salt. So let's. Back it up and then we'll get to the cards. So if you're looking for a new job, now is the time to, to find it. You're going to find out if you get it or not. If you don't get it, keep going. Now's the time to push through in relationships. It's good things should be happening to your relationships. It's uh, Now, if you might find out the guy's dating someone else, it's better to know than not know. You might find out the guy actually really likes you and he wants to have a super awesome relationship with you. You're going to find out uh, that as well. And, but that's that's what's going to happen. That's the energy, and that's what we're moving through. In addition to that, we have Mars right here crossing the North Node. This is, hey, Trino, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. And so in addition to all of this, we have Mars crossing the North Node. That's intense, man. However, I wouldn't stress it as much as you guys, uh, as people might think. No, you don't have to do your North Node. That's nonsense. No, you don't have to travel from your South Node to the North Node. In astrology, these are the forces of evil. So I don't know why anyone would want to focus on the forces of evil. That's like just beyond me. But it's not just that. It represents the darkness, literally the darkness. I'm not going on into a lecture about the nodes. But with Mars crossing the North Node, something you always want to do. All of this put together means... All of this. Hey, Imrana, what's up? So, yeah, Imrana, for better or worse. Uh, but for better or worse, like I said, the sunny side, our job here is to shine light. It's all we do, you know? And so 
for better or worse, is time to move forward into the future. Mars crossing your south node, it's time to do something you've always wanted to do as a, from a little kid in your past, you know? And like, that's the deal, <laughs> you know, that's the deal. Now, but it's not. Mars crossing the south node, you know, I went and I got my motorcycle license again. You know, I haven't had it in 20 years. Mars crossing the north node, I'm not even thinking of that. I'm doing something extremely different right now, and I'm pushing really hard for my future, and I'm taking care of uh, this darkness that's around all of us right now. And that's what I'm doing, and I, I encourage you guys to do the same. So this is... Now, this isn't technically any gate or portal or vortex or up the wazoo uh, teleportation device to some other reality that people always, you know, would love for me to say, but I'm not going to say. But this is, we have reached the day, we have reached the day where the door should be open enough for all of you to walk through into your future. That is what we're doing. That is the big takeaway from this week. You should have had your answers. So and then because the weekend is not feasible for everyone to, to receive all of their answers, like if you're looking for a job, as you move forward, you're going to get the answers Monday, Tuesday, obviously. And from there on, there on, moving forward, it's all, every step you take should be a step towards your future. And that's the deal. Just like right here, it's like a new Venus, you know, we're not going to see it, the results right away. The same thing is happening down here with the Mars and the North Node. You are not going to see the results right away, but, you know, but, but they, they are there. You know, your steps will not, right now, your steps will not be in vain. And that's the action. All right, let's do a reading for everyone. Oh, thanks, Connie. That's really sweet. Melody says, I don't like the answers I've been given so far. <laughs> I didn't like the answers. I, I, I like, I don't know. I, I'm taking everything with a grain of, grain of salt and a shot of tequila. <laughs> that's, my, that's my thing for right now. Okay, let me set this up for Aries and then we'll, we'll go do the card reading for everyone. Oh, man. Aries. Yay. Oh, that's a really... Man, that's like... Oh, it's a good thing I'm sitting in front of this one because this this is a real... This is a really goofy-looking ram. All right. Whatever. Let's get on with things. Okay. Erica, I am not going to fall for this one again. I'm not falling it for it two days in a row, but let me try. Bread, 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 bread. Did I offend anybody? <laughs> that Superman thing with the... Okay, let's calm it down, calm it down. These guys maybe say some nasty things. <laughs> Ram with literal pigtails. I know, I think it's cute. Okay, here we go. Let's read the cards for everybody, then we'll move on to the next action. Hey, guys, make sure you hit... Uh, give the video a thumbs up. There's a bunch of people watching. Just take a moment and give the video a thumbs up. It doesn't take long to do. And I'm told it helps the channel. Here we go. First up for everybody. Ah, four of wands reversed. Ah, why not? Whatever. <laughs> let's, let's not judge the cards. All right. Four of wands. So the four of wands tends to be, let's get on with things. Three of wands is is a holding pattern, right? Three of Wands, you're stuck in a holding pattern waiting for your ship to come in. The Four of Wands is time to get on. Some people call it the card of marriage. I don't call it the card of marriage. I call it the card of getting on. It's usually a good sign. Remember, it's, again, it's the final, it's the third deacon of Aries, you know? You've done, you're like, you've already started, you've made your choices, you've waited for everything, and now it's time to get on. Unfortunately, it's reversed. So I would imagine you're not all going to get the answers you're hoping for, but seriously. Oh, let's get this bread means let's... Okay, well, I'm learning on the go. Okay, good, <laughs> learning on the fly. Uh, so the Four of Wands reversed. 
you know, there's going to be some stumbling blocks. Not everybody's going to get all of the answers they want. I would imagine there's a bit of breakup energy in the air. I'm going to say this again. When you study cycles in astrology, there's a thing. There's a thing. When you reach a square, and we didn't talk about this, but when you reach a square, you have the choice of whether to continue on or to end it with the square. And then by the time you get to the opposition, like the full moon, uh, if you continue on with something that's not working, you're really going to get punished for it. Like you're really going to be in a state, uh, a not positive state. But if you learn your lessons between the square and the opposition, there you go. I would imagine that there are a lot of people right now uh, who's, even though you receive the answers, the answers, the answers, you might be holding on for something else. And I think that's what's going on. Four of Wands, it's time to move on. I don't know that everybody's going to move on in the way that they wanted to move on. And um, that's the deal. And I don't want to go too deep in it because it's stressful. <laughs> like around here is really stressful these days, this whole thing. Then we have the four of coins. What do we have? This is, we have the six of coins. I'm using a different deck today. Or whatever, six of coins here. Now the six of coins, this is a good example of this card. Some people call it the card of charity. I don't really look at it as the card of charity. Some decks do. I think this is a situation where someone promises you something and they don't necessarily deliver. See that they're offering you this, like this is a money card. They're offering you this Libra glyph, but you really need the money, man. <laughs> like what the hell? In some, there's always a balance. There should be a balance or an infinity symbol in this card. And so it's, uh, which is interesting because this is card is, is earth energy, right? It's, it's Taurus energy. So, right, it's up here, it's Taurus energy. Uh, and the balance is obviously Libra. Now, what's happening in this situation is someone is like, if you need help, the help is there. Keep that in mind. Six of coins. If you need help, the help is there. All you have to do is ask. But the help is probably going to come with strings attached. So you have to watch out. There's also the possibility someone is going to jerk you around. And for those who have always wondering, why wow, the six of coins, Sonny, is the card of charity. What do you mean someone's going to jerk you around? Well, look at it. it that description comes from uh, this particular deck. You need the money, but they're make, giving you this first. And this card is reversed, so it might get expensive. <laughs> it might get expensive. Next, Queen of Cups reversed. Well, expect, expect, a, <laughs> expect a little bit of the kibosh to hit you in the holy smokes. Queen of Cups reversed. So the Queen of Cups is super nurturing. She's super kumbaya. She's super awesome. She wants to help you out. Uh, you might fall in love. Maybe not. It's all reversed. I, I have a, a, a different interpretation of all of this as we put it together. I really think this to me, this to me, to, to me, it looks like someone from the past is going to ask you for money. Uh, whether it's a an old bill, let's say. Um, you know, like an old, you know, a bill that wasn't paid or... Uh, doing some kind of tax thing or some kind of paperwork or some kind of something. Uh, or it's an old relationship or someone from the past or maybe it's someone where, where you used to work or someone you had a very close relationship with. They might contact you and ask you for money. And I think that's the deal. So everybody be cool with that. It might get a little expensive for you. And that, yeah, I know, Connie, seriously, good luck with that. <laughs> seriously. And finally... A fiery climax approaches. So I don't know what you're going to do with your horse, but a fiery climax is coming. So you better wrap it up and chill your game. All right. All right. Next. <laughs> All right. I'm learning more and more words from the, uh, the millennial lexicon. <laughs> it's, uh, I didn't know these things. I didn't know you could do that to a horse. Okay. Next. Next. I don't know why you would want to do that to the horse. What was that, Erica? Someone used your debit card info while you were at work last night. Uh, they just took it. Yeah, well, that's kind of the thing that we're going through that the cards are saying. I think it anyways, it's kind of a money thing. I think someone you're in a relationship or used to be or around you, uh, that's the deal. All right, let's get on with it. Aries is up. Okay. So I'm going to lose that and just hit the Aries action here. Let's see how this looks on the screen. If it looks good, then we are ready to go. We are probably ready to go. Oops. Move this up a little bit. 
leave it like that just because and let's do it <clears throat> aries what time is it all right aries what's your action here so what's that arrow for so aries this new beginning it's so aries you have to work on you know it's all about your appearance aries so if you're like <laughs> It's all about how you look. Aries, you should be looking pretty good. You should have a breakthrough, a new, like you are beginning your personal love cycle. Your personal one year love cycle begins right now, Aries. You should be attracting love. You should be attracting love. You should be looking good. You might get a, you might get a pimple, all right? Just letting you know, you might get a pimple, like a big ass pimple on your forehead, or you might get, you know, just letting you know, uh, but for the most part, you should be attracting. You should be looking good. Uh, you should be attracting things like attracting money, attracting love. It should, and you should recognize it all. And people should look and see you as a very loving and harmonious person right now. This is a good time, I'd say, to be an Aries. On top of all of that, for Aries, you have to absolutely, without any question, watch for car accidents. But having said that, there's a strong possibility that Aries. Will like right now, probably this week, Aries is going to buy a new car or uh, Aries are going to buy a new car or they're going to buy a new computer or they're going to buy a new cell phone. Pretty straight ahead. Textbook stuff. Papa Sunshine's born right here on the cusp. And we saw uh, computers for sale at Costco that we might get, but they're not on sale yet. They're going to be on sale in a couple of weeks. And by the time all of this works around to right here, astrologically, that's going to it lines up nicely with getting Papa Sunshine a new computer. All right, so that's the deal with Aries. Watch your car, buy a new car, watch for accidents, watch for arguing with people. Very much watch for arguing with your brothers and sisters. Aries are going to be the most vocal sign. Uh, they are the most vocal sign right now. But at the same time, Aries is looking good, and I don't really see any negative stuff happening to Aries, to be quite honest. I think, they, uh, you know, maybe something negative. People are gossiping about Aries. Whatever, man, because <laughs> the people are gossiping about you. They're talking about you behind your back. But for the most part, whatever, it's all part of the gig. Well, it's all part of my gig. I don't know if it's part of your gig, but it's all part of my gig. All right, Aries is up. Okay. Ah, oh, Kim, we'll talk about that when we get to Scorpio. All right, next. Kim saying her Capricorn girlfriend is making our week Scorpio, but we'll talk about that. All right, Aries is up. Aries, what is this? Nine of coins reversed. All right, where are the coins here? So nine of coins reversed. So there's going to be, there might be a little bit of a money snafu this week. You might actually, where is, what, what order are these? In? Okay, so here we go, Aries. Money time, money time, money time. Money time. You are very, very close to a financial goal that you've been hoping for. A, you are very close to a financial goal. I just warning you in advance that you're going to have a little bit of nonsense before you reach that financial goal. I think you think. I think you think everything is cool and you're ready to to proceed, or you're hoping to proceed. But like, there's a good, there's going to be a bit of a stumbling block, a little bit of a delay on the way, and. That's the action. I don't know what the rest of the cards say yet, but we'll see it as we go along. <laughs> hey, Vic, not yet. We do the horoscopes in order uh, here on the sunny side. Oh, wow. Seven of swords. Oh, no, this is not good for Aries. Aries, watch the fine work. Someone's going to try and pull a fast one on you. Someone's going to try and sneak your game, man. So, like, they're going to try and steal your dice. Watch out, watch out, watch out. No wonder the money is delayed. No wonder there's a bump. Watch the paperwork. Aries, without any question, watch the paperwork and watch someone trying to pull a fast one on you. Then we have the three of coins. This is generally the card of hard work. So you're probably going to have to hunker down. Do you guys still use the word hunker? Is that a thing? Is it offensive? Is it offensive if I use the word hunker? Is that offensive to hunks? I like. I don't know. Is it offensive to people who hunk? And the... Man, I tell you, it'd be really difficult to be a comedian right now. You know, in the United States, it'd be almost impossible to be a comedian in the United States. Well, I haven't made any comedy videos in a long time. I haven't done any astrological videos in a long time. Anyways, three of coins, Aries. 
part of hard work. You have a lot of work to do. It's not just the card of hard work. This deck doesn't, this particular version of it doesn't show the entire story of the three of coins. But in addition to hard work, Aries, you're probably working hard, right? Diligently working towards impressing someone, right? You're putting the effort in and you absolutely want to impress some people. And maybe not absolutely want to impress some people, but you're definitely watching what's going on. It's Capricorn energy, right? Capricorn is one of the signs that likes to look good in front of others or they you know just saying and so heads up with that anyways capricorn be bold and make the first move oh, sorry not capricorn aries be bold and make the first move all right next what is that <laughs> Eric, that's good. Yeah. hey memes what's up class tonight level one class tonight uh seven o'clock eastern the times of uh are still the same even though i've changed time zone all right, next, Taurus is up. All right, let's see what's going on with the bulls. Well, you know, Taurus, a lot of stuff is happening behind the scenes. I'm guessing, Taurus, you're in a secret love affair you're going to find out. Uh, you're going to find out. I'm just guessing as I'm, you know, I'm talking as I'm pulling this up, but I'm also looking at it. I'll show you in a sec. Here we go, Taurus. Oops. It's a nice plump little bull. <laughs> okay, Taurus. So, Taurus, for the most part, your love is behind the scenes. Uh, you might be a, a little sneaky right now. You might be having a bit of a love affair right now. Watch out for, um, you know, a secret clandestine relationships. There's, it's not just about secret. So, hey, Siren, what's up? It's not just about secret and clandestine relationships, Taurus. Like, it, it doesn't necessarily mean a secret romantic love affair. Although we like to think in terms like that. You might be making, because I know there's a, a Taurus here on the channel who, you know, and so just saying, who's happily married. So I'm saying it could be a business thing as well, because it's not just love, right? It's money as well. And the money is coming from behind the scenes. So you're going to see it now, but people might not see it when they look at you. So you might be making a lot of phone calls behind the scenes, a lot of business going on behind the scenes, a lot of rapport happening behind the scenes, a lot of secret money. Uh, you know, you work, you are probably working behind the scenes to make some money. Excuse me. And it's, it's not like you are going to see the light, but other people aren't going to see the light uh, for a little while. So take it easy. Actually, no one else is going to see this Taurus for like it, another month. But in a month, everybody's going to see it. So chill it out. You know, chill it out. Your hard work, Taurus, behind the scenes will absolutely pay off if you continue. Now, this is here. This is money as well. So there is a ton of energy going on uh, happening in the financial area, for financial realm for Taurus. It's money in, money out. But moreover, it's a lot of energy going in there. So you're talking to groups of people, dealing with groups of people, pe groups of, you know, Groups of people are dealing with you. You're running around doing all this stuff. A lot of energy going into your finances. I do believe you're going to be successful. I don't think you're going to close on any deals uh, for another. You might close on some deals this week. Like, like I said, like I said, the farther Venus moves from the sun, the more you'll see uh, this financial thing that's happening behind the scenes or, or this financial thing that's not has not yet been made public for everyone and this should be very obvious for uh the tauruses who watch uh who follow the sunny side this should be very obvious i don't know about your other signs but taurus should be very obvious this financial thing is happening behind the scenes that nobody it's not public yet and it will be public soon but for you you're going to see it that's all i'm going to say that's all i'm going to say that's all i'm going to say what else taurus a high possibility to get a new job next 
If you're looking for love, it's secret relationship time. All right, next. Hey, yo, Aliyah, what's up? I hope you're having a super beautiful day. The Erica, we're not being, you guys aren't censored. What do you mean you're being censored? You're the moderator. <laughs> My moderators aren't very moderate. I gotta say, uh, the, sunny side, the sunny side moderators aren't very moderate. I guess. Anyways, Aliyah, I hope you're having a beautiful day. We're gonna class tonight, level one stuff. You're always, you know, you're welcome to, to drop in if you like and uh, see what's going on with everybody. Okay, Taurus, let's do some more cards here. Queen of Swords reversed. <clears throat> Taurus is not getting the nurturing words that they want. I would watch out, Taurus. Taurus, lots of good money happening behind the scenes. Uh, um, Queen of Swords, you're not going to get all those nurturing words. This is not a kumbaya time for Taurus. It might be nice. It might be nice. You know, Taurus is always nice with this. You know, if it's good for Taurus, it's, if it's good for Libra, it's going to be good for Taurus. And so... For the most part, anyways. Uh, even though they're... Anyways, let's continue. So, so the nurturing words, Taurus, are the kumbaya kind of love and positive and, oh, peace and love and, like, I honor, I, honor your, I honor your Venus flower or, like, I honor your lotus blossom with my banana of thunder. I don't know what the hell <laughs> kind of analogies. I'm not a... I'm not one of those guys. But, like... Anyways, Queen of Swords, Reverse Taurus. Watch your words, watch your words, watch your words. Busiest Pisces alive. Oh, I hear that. Oh, it's busy these days. Next, the Lovers Reversed. Oh, crap and ass. Why are we having all these cards reversed? Oh, the Lovers Reversed. Wow, Taurus. All right, Taurus. Keep your shiz together. Where did I put this card? The Lovers Reversed. Um... Taurus, this doesn't necessarily... So keep your... Taurus, keep your shiz, man. Uh, you might have... Very much have the potential for a new relationship. Uh, the the I would say the breaks are on right now uh, for any new relationships. Actually, for Taurus, I don't think you're going to get the breakthrough in the positive way. I think it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be... Relationships might be a little stressful this week. Taurus relationships might be a little stressful this week. So just be cool with your game. All right, next. Hey, Aaliyah, that's awesome. Oh, you are busy. Then the Knight of Wands. This is reversed as well. I just turned the cards around. I'm still getting reversed. Knight of uh, Wands reversed. So, you know, you're not, you're not, Taurus, you're probably not going to get the, the green light that you want this week. You know, double, just like Aries, maybe Taurus, you have to double check the paperwork. Uh, Taurus, like I said, you're not going to get the green light. Uh, you're going to get, there's going to be a bunch of running around this week. That really sucks. A bunch of running around, a lot of doing things for other people. Uh, you're going to have to absolutely watch your words. But it doesn't mean you're not going to be successful. It just means... A lot of running around. Uh, you're not going to be able to do all that running around that you want to do. There might be a lot of questions and answers that you need or you want, like right now, from other people that you may or may not get. And it's, I know what Taurus is. He's going to freak out. Then we have a new start is coming. Oh, that is so nice to see. A new start is coming. There you go, Taurus. Next. Yes, Erica, the centaur is a super horse. <laughs> super, you, can't make it, you know I was going to fall. You know, you already know I fall for it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm Canadian, man. You think I never... You never... Whoa, I heard the zombie sign. Oh, I took the zombie. You, you think I... I'm a... <laughs> you think I never stepped in a puddle. <laughs> I'm Canadian. All right. I know what that means. All right, next. Gemini is up. Mama Sunshine's a Gemini. Oh, we've got subs happening on the sunny side. I took the zombies down because the zombies were interfering with my recordings. So, but I'll put them back up when I'll put them back up for later because they're a lot of fun when we're live. Ah, uh, all right, Gemini's up. This guys, make it too. <laughs> Come on, don't save. Okay, next.
Just want to remind everybody, we had to start this. We had to start the reading without further ado. So, further ado didn't. He, he's like, yeah. All right, whatever. Oh man. Mama Sunshine's a Gemini. I'm a Gemini rising. Let's see what's going on with this action here. What's going on with the Geminis? Well, Geminis are sick. There you go. Gemini. Gemini. All right, Gemini, here you go. Gemini, something about you. You are absolutely going through a new beginning. You would think with Mars crossing the uh, north node in my first house, I might get like a haircut, right? There's a... Yeah, if your moon is in Gemini, absolutely pay attention to this. It's going to affect you. So if you have a moon in Gemini, and we'll circle back for the sun and the rising, Mars is crossing your moon. You're going to put a lot of... Mars is crossing your moon. The north node is crossing your moon. That's a lot of uh, aggressive energy crossing your moon. You're going to get real antsy. You're going to get very aggressive. <laughs> you know, your emotional state, You're going to. it's getting charged right now. You might want to yell and freak out at people. So... Yeah, if I was a Gemini moon, if I was a Gemini moon, I would like, you're going to have to chill, right? Things are going to get stressful for you. Anyways, you would think as a Gemini rising that I would like, you know, first I have to watch my health. Geminis have to watch their health. Geminis have to watch out for hitting their heads. Geminis are probably changing how they look somehow or their appearance to the world. Something about Geminis are in major, something about Geminis and how they see themselves are in major flux. Maybe they get major pimples right now. Maybe Gemini's shave their head. I actually, I don't see Gemini's shaving their head, but maybe they're going to shave their head. The I had the COVID shot. I don't know how that changes anything, but that's what's going on. In addition to that, we're talking about the new Venus today. So as far as Venus is concerned, Gemini should be attracting a lot of love publicly, a lot of love on social media. Do we have a lot of love on social media? Yeah, we have a number. We have quite a number of people watching the video today, watching the video live. So like, there you go. I'm a Gemini rising. We have a good chunk of people watching the videos live. So there you go. <laughs> so I would imagine the Geminis are very good in social media right now. Geminis are very popular right now. Mama Sunshine's a Gemini, and she has tons of people calling the house. Uh, not a lot of people are coming over, but tons of people are calling. And that's the action. Maybe Geminis are thinking about a job. Maybe they're thinking about their personal career. It's a good time for Geminis and Gemini risings especially to win awards right? Public recognition. It's not public recognition like the top of your chart, like when it's in Pisces. It's not what I'm talking about. We're talking about uh, karma or rewards for a job well done. And that's what's happening to Geminis right now. If you were successful publicly, then you are going to receive the awards for that or the rewards for that right now. If you were a donkey publicly, not a good donkey, like, hey, man, how are you doing? Can you, like, carry this for me? And you're like, yeah, man, of course. Where are you going? I'm like, we're just going. Not a good one. But if you're a total numpty publicly, then your karma is going to come and wazoo your game in such a way that I wouldn't want to be even a million miles close to you, which I'm not. <laughs> so let us continue. So Geminis, watch out for that. But for the most part, Geminis are very good at the top of the chart. So I would imagine Geminis winning awards right now. It's a very, very good time for Geminis to start their own YouTube channel. All right, what else is going on with Gemini? Gemini's good things should be in, relationships should be okay. Gemini's watch your health, watch your health, watch your health. And Gemini's are super romantic, maybe spending time with the kids. Next, let's check what the cards say. Knight of Cups, oh, well Gemini loves, loves arriving all over the place. So if you're a new Gemini, what the hell? <laughs> what kind of language are you? Sonny, what kind of? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I had a Moderna moment. For those who haven't seen it yet, that's I just had a Moderna moment. Moderno, whatever. <laughs> I just had a Moderna moment. The Knight of Cups running around for love all over the place. Very adolescent energy. So if you're a Gemini looking for love, you know, maybe you're going to travel for love. Maybe love is at a distance. You're probably going to go the extra mile for love right now. Or you're going to put a lot of love into whatever you're doing. You're there for someone else. Gemini, Gemini Risings, you're there for someone else. If you're a Gemini moon, if you're a Gemini moon, expect to be 
easily triggered right now. So heads up with that. The energy is different. The planets affect, the transits will affect your sun, moon, and rising all differently. There we go. But they will all be affected because this is what I'm talking about, Gemini. Gemini Knight of Cups. Love might arrive from a distance or you might travel. Geminis might take a road trip for love. So we know from Geminis on this channel, <laughs> they might take a road trip for love. Then we have the King of Wands straight up. It's the time for action. The time right now, Geminis, for very responsible, take care of other people actions. So Geminis, take care of your... Oops. Geminis, now's the time to take care of yourself and take care of, if you can, the people around you as well. But now is the time for massive responsibility and um, very soft emotions. And justice reversed. So here we go. Justice reversed. There's a, a bit of a balance coming. I know that's so typical, right? A balance coming. But there's also a bit of a reckoning. On the negative side, there's a reckoning. Libra, the justice card is really about settling accounts. So it could be emotional accounts, or it can be financial accounts. It could be whatever. Uh, it, at its essence, you find out how much you're worth, and then you deal with it. Now, this card is reversed, so you might find out something negative. You know, you might find out that the person actually doesn't like you. Or you might find out that, you know, there's going to be something. I really don't want to go too much into all of this stuff, because I know some people who are really sick are watching, and I'll talk to them personally. I don't want to overly say all this stuff publicly, even though these are the horoscopes. I know I get it. This justice reverse, this balance is coming, this reckoning. If you're up too high, it's coming down. If you were too low, it's coming up. This is the time, Gemini, to settle the score. Justice, settling the score. And so if you want to make peace, go make peace. If you want to go kick someone in the Shazam, go kick them in the Shazam. If you want to cactus their personality, by all means, go that. This is the sunny side not the goody-goody side. And that's the deal. So, Gemini, get out, have fun, do your thing, and I wish you the best. One more. Got the deck in three. Geminis, what do you need to release? Geminis, what do you need to release? All right, next. Let's see what's going on with the crabs. Answer. Mm -mm. You guys cool? Everybody cool with what's going on here? Hey, Hamery, what's up? I hope you're having... A super beautiful day. Shrek donkey. Shrek donkey is a good donkey. Yes. That is a happy donkey. <laughs> All right. All right. Next. All right. Let's see what's going on with the crabs. <sighs> Shrek donkey is a good donkey. Shrek is a good movie. Okay. Wow, cancers, cancer might have it tough. The, and like, this is, there's a negative uh, push of energy happening behind the scenes for cancer. You know, when I put timestamps, I usually wait until I see it here. And so I'm starting to talk. I might mess up the reading. Yeah. I might mess up the timestamp, but I think that's okay. Cancer. I like, I'm fond of these type of crabs now. Drawing the crabs like this, I think it's really cute. Let's make the crabs with some really cool hair. Oh, yeah. All right. There we go. Long hair crab. All right. <laughs> Long hair crabs. All right, Cancer. What's going on? Cancer, I don't know. Something behind the scenes is happening. You're probably fighting behind the scenes. Uh, watch out for people trying to stab you in the back, stab you in the back, stab you in the back. I can't say that enough. It's crossing the north node. So you might be trying really hard to make your future come come through. And you might do it in a way that nobody knows. And so I would imagine that cancers are in the background, very cancer-like, very quietly doing things that nobody knows about to make their future happen. Uh, we're going to see all of this in a couple of weeks. But for now, we don't know what the cancers are doing. Nobody knows what you're doing. If you're doing things in secret cancer, it's fine. Now, excuse me. Cancers are also in stab you in the back mode, all right? 
They're also in stab you in the back mode. So watch out for it. Be careful, Cancer. Don't get yourself in a situation you can't get yourself out. Don't make long-term decisions based on short-term situations. Unless you want to, but that's the number one way to screw up your life. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Anyways, Cancers are super-duper high visibility right now. Oh, man, I haven't been saying who's going to win the lottery. Ugh. All right. All right, next. Let us move on. Cancer, you're super high visibility right now. Everywhere you go, people see you. Uh, so watch out. If you're, because you're, you, you know, you've got haters, Cancer. So watch out. Now, there is a possibility for an office romance right now with Cancer. Wherever your office is, whatever your job is, there's a possibility for an office romance for Cancer if you're looking for love. If you're looking for any kind of anything, Cancer, you're going to find it when you go out, right? When you go outside, People are going to walk up to you and say hello. And that's the deal. People, so, you know, all the cancers. So like Wing One, when she's outside, people are going to walk up and say hello. That's pretty cool. You know, good things are going to happen to her when she's out and about. And that's the deal with cancer. You know, watch your money. You know, watch your finances, cancer. There's stuff that's happening financially. There's a restructuring happening financially. There's a lot of karma happening financially. If you invested wisely, you're going to be making money. If you invested poorly, you're going to have uh, a, a different outcome. Uh, a lot of hard work going into that. Cancers might be restructuring their mortgages right now. Cancers might be borrowing money right now. And it, they should find it not easy or difficult to borrow money, but they have to actually do their due diligence or they're going to find themselves in trouble right now. But if you can work through all of that, then I think you're going to be okay. That's the deal. Stuff is happening behind the scenes for cancer. So this is the deal. Cancer is working out, doing stuff behind the scenes. However, they are super high visibility. So I don't know how cancer does this. If I do this, I'm going to get caught every single time. But like cancer should be pretty good with this whole jiggly this action because that's what cancer does. On top of all of that, cancer might be thinking about traveling. They might be thinking about studying, thinking about traveling, thinking about studying, thinking about healing other people. There's also a possibility that cancers are going into a massive SJW mode. Next. Let's see what the cards say. Hey, Angie, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Sneaky crabs. Oh, I hate when the crabs sneak up behind you and then bite you in the toe. <laughs> uh, what else is going on? Hey, Nadia, what's up? I hope you're having a super... Oh, you're doing... So well, Nadia's a cancer rising, right? I hope doing something in the background. Nadia, watch out for haters. Hey, uh, Nadia, office romance is one, very public romance, and watch out for haters and doing stuff in the background. And who else just sneaked in? Angie. Angie's a, for those who, Angie's a longtime sunny sider too. It's great to see everybody. If I knew you guys were gonna, all going to hang out today, I would have, I might hang out with you guys more on Sunday. But I might do that more. <laughs> so I usually do these horoscopes on Saturday, but we'll see. All right, next. Give them the glare. <laughs> they definitely good at hiding all right the two of wands cancer so you have opportunities and options you might be going through some renaissance or some new beginning and i'm only saying that because the astrology you have a lot of energy in the 12th house so ending getting ready to move forward and it's crossing the north node so you know also cancer watch your mental health you might be plagued with headaches right now in addition to all of that, two of wands, you clearly have opportunities and options. Look, you can go left, you can go right, you can go do whatever you want. You can, you can do whatever you want. Cancer has a lot of opportunities right now. It's up to you to figure out what you want to do. And of course, you know, I like the crab, so I'll support you in whatever you want to do. Oh, no, ten of wands. Cancer, what's going on? This says you're doing way too much for other people. So maybe you're not getting the recognition you deserve. Maybe you're like, going the extra mile for people maybe you're trying to impress not impress but you're trying to make everybody happy and you know you're not necessarily sure what to do i'll tell you guys something for some signs like a sagittarius they would be like left or right for a cancer they're probably going to do both just to let you know cancer probably going to do both they're the sign that multitasks but you're doing too much for others cancer so or you're carrying too much of a burden there's a possibility 
you know, Mars is there. You're probably doing some sneaky stuff right now and you're holding it back from anybody and it's wiping you out. Then we have the Magician. This is very clearly the card of manifesting. And so, Cancer, get ready for your dreams to come true. Now, it's not like winning the lottery or, winning the lottery or, or anything, but it's manifesting, man. So by your own hand, it's Mercury energy. It's very fast. The potential. Someone should come along, Cancer, to show you, right? Just see how the light is shining on the cups? Someone's going to come along to show you your strength or your uh, potential. Someone's going to come along to help you realize how good you really are. Uh, it may be something in addition to that. Uh, but after that, you should be jazzed and feel very good about your own potential. And finally, a fiery climax approaches. Just remember, Cancer, it doesn't have to be a fight. Don't make it a fight. A <laughs> fiery climax approaches. All right, next. Oh, thanks, Melody. That's sweet. And hey, Miss Heather, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Yeah, it's like they finally got their breakthrough. I think so. I think, I think a lot of signs are going to feel... Like, again, guys, it's for better or worse. I know, you know, there's a, you know, there's a, it's, it's for better or worse. They're not, you're going to, you're going to get your answers. And that's it. It all depends on what's the action. Next. Leo. Oops. Leo. Oops. <laughs> okay, no, Leo's up. Leo is action time. All right, let's go. Leo. Leo. Mm -mm. There's a happy lion. All right, Leo, what's your action? So, well, Leo, something big with the friends, you know? Maybe, Leo, you're going to get into an argument with your friends. Maybe you're going to join a new sports team. Maybe you're going to get... Maybe you're going to argue on social media. Leo, Leo Rising's arguing on social media. I'm not seeing a lot of Leos argue on social media, be, to be honest. Uh, cancers, I'm seeing Cancers argue, uh, leave a bunch of really crazy comments right now. But for Cancer and Cancer Rising, they're high visibility. So, you know, so whatever. I'm definitely seeing that. Leos, maybe you're going to put a lot of energy into making a new Instagram thing. Maybe you're going to put a lot of energy into dealing with groups of people. Maybe you're going to join a team or an association of some sorts, or you're going to put, uh, you're going to help other people uh, with their voice and their vision, which is all pretty cool for those. Help other people with their voice and their vision. Now, as for other stuff, the good news that's happening for Leo is way up here. And Leos might think about traveling right now. Leos are attracting from a distance. Leos might be taking a class right now. Leos might be studying right now. Very, very good time for Leos to attract things from a distance. So if you're in sales right now, Leo, it's a good time to sell to someone overseas or sell to someone from a different culture. Or if you're looking for love right now, look for someone who's a little different than you, someone from a different culture or someone from uh, a distance. That's where the action is happening for Leo. Yeah, you're thinking about money. Right now, Leos are thinking about money right now. And yeah, Leos are feeling sex they're thinking about sex they're thinking about money sex and money sex and money that's what leos are thinking about but it's coming from a distance so you might have to travel to get both there are problems in relationships right now for leos like you're probably putting a lot of hard work in relationships or leos might feel as if they're isolated or alone in relationships but you're not leos yeah and it's not just your love relationships it could be with your friends leo you might be feeling as if you're alone and isolated right now. So just take it all with a grain of salt and you'll be okay. All right, let's check out what the cards have to say for Leo. Hey, Ancient Lights, what's up? I hope you're having a wonderful day. And Barbie, I hope you're having a super day. 
as well. And Jackie, what's up? I hope everything is super cool. I ended up with the Moderna shot. Oh, my arm. I ended up getting it. Very cool. Everything is good. All right. Next, Knight of Swords. So Leo's got something to say. And so I would imagine if I would imagine Leo's are going to work the phones right now or Leo's are going to rush out to ask some people some questions. But I'm pretty certain, Leo, the answer you're going to get is no. So watch out for it. I, I like, you know, I like when Leo's get the answer. Yes. But I have a feeling something happened along the way. And Leo, the answer you're going to get is no. So be very careful when you reach out to ask questions. Wording it is going to lead you. Oh, here we go. The tower reverse. So Leo, I, I'm pretty certain the answer is no. <laughs> like it's reversed. There might be a delay. You might argue about it. You might be upset about it. But a change is coming in your life, Leo. And uh, it, it doesn't say that it's your fault or anything, but it does say that it's coming. Uh, it might be delayed. And, you know, I wish you the absolute best of luck, but a big change is coming to Leo. Then we have the seven of coins reversed. Like this, maybe you're asking for money. Straight up, Leo, maybe you're asking for money. Maybe, but, you know, now is not the time to ask for money, Leo. That's what the problem is. You see all this? This is the seven of coins. This is not asking for money. Does it look like she's, her baskets are full? Do you see that? Can you guys see that? Does it look like her baskets are full? No. <laughs> so, so, Leo, chill your game, man. So chill it out. Wait until the baskets are full, and then maybe you're going to get some money. But if you ask, if you get impatient at Knight of Swords it up right now, the tower is going to come and you're not going to get it. Like I'm saying, if you ask right now, the answer is no. If you wait, you might get what you might get it. But now I would be very cautious if I was Leo when it comes to other people's money. Well, there's one more card. Transformative talks. What? <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Next. Hey, Barbie, what's up? I hope you're having a super, super amazing day. Okay. And Ancient's in the house. Hey, Ancient, what's up? I hope you're having an amazing day. Anyone else sneak in that I missed? The, um... Oh, very cool. All right, Leo, one more card. Emotions are running high. Emotions, Leo, are running high. There you go. All right, next. Hey, guys, reminding everybody to please hit the what's up button. <laughs> please hit the thumbs up button. And uh, I super appreciate it. Okay, it's not that big a deal. And when you're really, when you're ready for a uh, private reading over Skype or Google Hangouts, then hit the PayPal link in the description box below. And we'll totally set it up. All right, have I missed any signs yet, guys? Virgo is next. And... Uh, if I missed any signs, let me know. Or sometimes I miss signs. <laughs> I miss... Hey, I'm a guy. What do you want? I might be just a psychic astrologer and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And Sonny's awesome at everything. But, like, I miss signs all the time. <laughs> Virag, Virag, Virag. <laughs> all right. Virag is up. Uh, <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> oh, man, I can't get enough of that. Okay, next. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Finger. Okay, Barack is up. Oh, man. Okay, next. <laughs> hey, David, what's up, man? I hope you're having an amazing day. It's great, great, great to see you. <laughs> All right. Barack is up. <laughs> okay. 
Virgs, what's going on? So, Virg. Okay, so Virgo. Maybe Virgos are going to start new jobs. Virgos have to watch out for getting fired. All right, Virgo, watch out for getting fired. Watch out for getting fired. Watch out for haters at the office. Virgos, watch out for haters at the office. You know, people are going to check your game. Watch out for someone trying to steal your lunch. Watch out for fighting publicly, very public arguments. Now, on the plus side, we have new beginnings, excuse me, in joint finances. So, Virgo, you're going to get, you might have a breakthrough in finances. Very good time for Virgos to get a mortgage, renegotiate your mortgage. Very good time for Virgos to get a loan. There's a possibility Virgos are going to win a legal battle. Virgos, if you ask for money to do something, you're going to get it. So ask away and you shall receive. I think it, it's a good, Virgos are probably putting a lot of energy into being public right now. They might change their public persona right now. Not to say anything about anything. They, I haven't missed Pisces yet. What? I tried to miss Pisces, but I didn't do it on, I didn't not do it on purpose. I don't like this. Let me keep going here. Virgo, Virag. So, uh, Virgo, they're probably putting a lot of energy into being public, into their public career. Uh, they might be changing it. So maybe Virgos are starting a new job, right? You might start a new job. Virgos might, like, um, like they might start their own business is what I mean. Get a new job, start your own business. Very good time for Virgos to start their own business. Very good time for Virgos to put energy into publicity and the money. If you ask, Virgo, the money is there. I don't see a drain on your finances right now. The transits aren't really that stressed out. It's a pretty good time for people to see the light and move forward. Having said all of that, there is a lot of communication in love. So communication in love, Virgo. So if you love somebody or you're trying to team up or take your relationship to the next level, it's a very, very good time for that. Uh, talk to your partner. Now is a really good time to talk to your partner. Relationships, not just about marriage, not just about dating. It's the people around you that you want to do stuff with. Very good time for Pisces to talk about teamwork. Sorry, Virgo. Sorry, not Pisces. Virgo. Very good time for the Virgos to push through with their teamwork. Also, Virgos are attracting a lot of death energy right now. Uh, there might be some death sicknesses around Virgos. Heads up. Yeah, Barbie. Definitely. Uh, I said job. High possibility for a new job right now. You have a, an interview tomorrow and expecting money next week. Yeah, there we go. Totally. Barbie, seriously. This is the action for Virgos right now. And what's up, David? Oh, man. Yeah, I just finished Virgo. I just finished Gemini and Cancer. All right. <laughs> Come on, Aaliyah. You know Pisces is all Pisces are all the signs rolled into one. All horoscopes are Pisces. Whether they know it or not, they're all <laughs> no, I didn't bug at the Pisces. I'll be back in a sec. I'll be get to Pisces in a sec. Brug is up. Hey Afnan, I hope you're having a super amazing day. You can always scroll back in the you can always scroll back in the free. I'm not here to teach you guys how to use the internet right now. Virgo, King of Wands. Action time, Virgo. Watch your actions. Don't hit the freak boogie right now. Do not hit the freak boogie right now. Be responsible, Virgo. Be responsible with your actions. Meaning, don't spend lots, all the money. Yeah, just be responsible, Virgo. Be responsible. Virgo's a responsible sign, man. It's not like what I'm saying, but like just be responsible right now. Then the chariot. You, now is the time. Hey, Virgo, so Barbie, uh, check it out. The chariot. This means get out there and show the world what you can do. And don't take any nonsense from anybody. Very sincerely. This is the card. Look at this. All the study has been completed. And it's time to get out there and show the world what you do can do. This is one of the cards of taking control of the situation. Like it's taking the control of situation and not... Uh, messing about, right? Don't let anyone push you around. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. You're the one who's in control, Virgo. So you do it. You be cool. You are in charge of your own destiny right now. Then we have the wheel reverse. So there's going to be a delay. There's a strong possibility for something very lucky 
Virgos are in for a major dose of luck. I just have a feeling the luck is not going to arrive the way you think it's going to arrive. And I'm going to leave it like that because it has to, it all depends on you. This card is reversed. It usually means what goes down must come up. Just keep in mind, keep in mind that your luck is going to be delayed. It's a little dried out. Your luck might seem a little dry. So take control of the situation and make your own fortune right now, Virgo. That's what I say. King of Wands, go do it. And finally, emotions are running high. Wow, this card is coming up a lot. Emotions are definitely running high. All right, next. All right, next. You imagine you weren't going to hear it. Oh, man. Why are all these, all these Geminis are coming in today? That's interesting. Nah, don't worry about it. Just scroll back. This is going to be available. Uh, I'm going to publish this video. So, you know, it's going to be available soon. So I wouldn't stress it. I don't know what other people do, but I publish my videos. So, and I publish them on a lot of platforms. So there you go. Next. Libra. Okay. Okay, Libra is up. You know, Erica, the more I think about it, supermaning a horse is a really weird thing to do. <laughs> I got to say, I don't know. Is it cultural? Is it a fetish? Is it a fetish? I think it's a weird thing to do. I don't know. Uh, have I become a prude? <laughs> have I become a prude? <laughs> yes, honey. You're a prude. <laughs> okay, Libra is up. <laughs> Libra. Here we go. Pretty Libra. Yay. Pretty Libra. Yay. I'm so pretty. <laughs> Libra, I'm so pretty. Okay, whatever. Let's get down to it. So Libra, what's your action? Libra, oh wow, this is a great time to be a Libra. It's not great time. Libra, breakthroughs in love. What am I gonna say? Holy smokes, you are super lucky in love. Major breakthroughs in love. People might be asking Libras to get married. Holy smokes. In addition to that, maybe Libras, you know, Libras might be getting married right now. There's a possibility that Libras are going to partner up with people. The people around Libra should be making a lot of money right now. Money should be arriving to Libra. Money should be moving towards Libra through their partners. So if you go out for dinner, Libra, your partner is going to pay for everything. Or if you go somewhere, your partner is making money. I know it sucks, right? But for Libra, that's really good because <laughs> Libra, the team is doing very well. You are a major good luck charm right now. So all the Libras come and hang out with us. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Hey, Cherry, what's up? I hope you're having a beautiful day. And hey, uh, Yoshi, I hope you're having a super awesome day, uh, Yosh. And um, oh, thanks, David. That's really sweet, man. Yeah, it's cool. Hey, and Christopher's in the house. I should do Pisces first. You know why? Because you're a Pisces. That's exactly why I should do it first. <laughs> it's a, all right, Libra, what's going on? So, the um, anyways, so that's very good. Okay, Libra, Libra moons wanting to partner up. Libra, Libra moons wanting to partner up. This might be an emotional weekend for a week. It might be an emotional week for Libras. Uh, I know all of the energy is going over into this direction here, pushing into your partners, good things happening to your partners. All right, I get it. But you're going to be focused on yourself, and then you're going to be focused on your money, and then you're going to be focused on your brothers and sisters this week. So, like, uh, whatever, you know, like, whatever. Or traveling around and seeing what's going on. Now, having said all of that, the active energy for Libra is pushing into a distance. So Libras might be arguing with people from different cultures. Libras might be fighting at school. Libra moons might be fighting at school. Libras might be very serious thinking about traveling, getting out of town. 
there's a difference, you know, between traveling and getting out of town. I think Libras want to hit the boogie, and just put it all behind. But Libras might be fighting with people overseas. There's a possibility Libras might be studying their brains out, studying, 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 studying. And that's the deal. Too big. There's also a possibility that Libras, see, there's more to it than all of this. I'd say next week, not this week we're in, but the uh, first full week of April, Libra is going to be in monster relationship mode. So, like, this is it. This is the time for relationships with Libra. Love and relationships, it's a very good time for Libras to get pregnant, especially if they're on a vacation. And Libras, try not to fight with people from different cultures. Try to... You know, just just keep your just keep your uh, your you know your stuff together, Libra, and you're gonna be okay. All right, next, let's check out the cards for Libra. Joshua, goodbye, <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> All right, next, <laughs> next. All right, Libra, let's see your cards. Libra. Wow, Libra, the world card, except it's reversed. So the world card is an interesting thing. It's the last card in the major arcana. It means you've, uh, you've, you've reached, you know, you've reached uh, a certain goal. You've reached, hey, Rock, I hope you're having an amazing day. You've reached, oh, Libras, <laughs> Libras, Libras, the world card. It's reversed, okay? But this is the last card in the major arcana. You're at the end of your story. For whatever reason, for good or bad, you're at the end of the story. But it's not at the end. of. The, you've found yourself back at the beginning again. So in that Lord of the Rings stuff, you know when those guys returned back to the Shire? That's what this card's like. They've gone on this great adventure and you're back at the beginning. So Libras, I would imagine you've gone on this great adventure and you're back at the beginning, but you're not quite ready to move on to the next chapter yet. Like the world card is reversed. So you're maybe fighting to get back home, uh, you know, in your mind or fighting to get back emotionally or to get back to someone you love or care about or a situation that is very dear to you or something that you find yourself in and you can't quite get on to the next stage yet. And, no, but take it all with a grain of salt. Then we have the Page of Cups. It's reversed. So I think there's an emotional thing that happened. Maybe it's not necessarily heart. It's not like breakup energy, okay? It's not breakup energy. I'm going to use the word heartbreak, but it's not like heartbreak, okay? I just don't have a softer word for all of this. But take it all soft, <laughs> soft, because none of these are hard. None of these are hard emotional cards. They're just reversed. So instead of the life lessons, emotional life lessons, it, it, you know, you can't, you're stuck. Libra's kind of stuck. But I'm not going to, I wouldn't sweat it, Libra. Just because the cards say this, I wouldn't sweat it. Because astrologically, you're putting a lot of energy into things at a distance. Okay, I get it. Or putting a lot of energy into studying. Okay, I get it. But love game is really good for you right now. So chill it out. You know, um, according to the cards, you know, curtail your expectations a little bit and everything should be okay. You know, everything should be okay. Seven of Wands, you're going to have to defend yourself. What's the big deal? <laughs> so, you know, you're going to do something that might be slightly unfavorable or unpalatable to some people around you and you're going to have to explain yourself. So just explain yourself and move on. And you know, Libra's like a good conversation anyway. So just explain yourself, Libra. Move on and don't stress about it. Actually, I, I don't, these cards aren't really that negative for Libra. And I think the way the astrology lines up is actually quite good for Libra specifically. All right, next. Not next, one more. A new romantic, here you go, Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. A new romantic cycle begins. All right, next. Princess Nikki's in the house. Yo, princess, I hope you're having a beautiful day. All right, next up, Scorpio. Oh, man, here we go. What's going on with Scorpio? Oh, so let's check it out. Let's figure it out. Check it out. Mm 
All right. Hey, you want guys want to know something neat? I commented, there was someone on Facebook who was asking about their astrological chart. And every once in a while, I might chime in on their astrological chart. And today, someone was talking about suicide in their astrological chart. And they said that someone along the way said that there was suicide in her chart. But it turns out, you know, you have to listen to people, ask them a couple of questions. It turns out that it wasn't an astrological person. It was actually a palm reader said she had suicide in her chart. So because I looked at her chart and I didn't see it. So but I told her I did see that she's going to lose her hair. OK, I saw that. And she's like, what? When? When am I going to? What's going on? And I'm like, well, you know what, man? I'm not really, you know, you know, I'm not really the guy to be doing free stuff for you. But I said, I said, I said, one sec, let's draw this little Scorpio in. I said, I see you losing your hair. And I said, it may have already happened, you know, or you may have shaved your head earlier in life. You know, you may have shaved your head earlier in life. And so uh, it turns out, you know, it turns out that she, um, she had lost some of her hair. And the, what happened was she lost weight somehow and her hair started to fall out, I guess with a hormone change. And when she was pregnant, she lost her hair as well. But not all of her hair. She said it was falling out of the front. So go astrology. Go sunny. Just saying. So it, it's also a thing for all of you guys who are tarot readers and astrologer. It's important to be patient with other people's understanding of what you're trying to say. Saying you lose your hair doesn't mean you're going to go completely shiny head bald. Not necessarily. <laughs> you know, it might, but not necessarily. And so just like... There are other people, you know, if, you know, a certain placements, you might see it and be like, oh, you're not going to have any kids. And they would be like, well, I don't want any kids. And you're like, fair enough. <laughs> so maybe it says you don't want to have kids, you know. So like, you know, uh, as you're describing things, when you're giving readings, guys, just take the language with a grain of salt. I've had tons of people say right here on the channel, you know, when we're doing mini astrology readings at night, they're like, uh, I'm like, well, you know. It looks like uh, you're going to get divorced. You know, you're going to break up. She's like, I've, people have been like, I've never even been in a relationship. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. And then you find out they've been living with someone. They've been living with their partner for like 20 years. And you're like, what? What do you mean? It's like, seriously? You know, so let your language chill. And when people are like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, no. Well, we're going to have to deal with that phone. Then. When people are blah, 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 blah. Just give it a minute to align your language with what's going on. All right, next. All right, not next. Did I do Scorpio yet? I'm shuffling the cards. Did I do anything about Scorpio yet? All right. I might have missed Scorpio. Let's read the, let's do the chart. Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. Blah. Scorpio. The moon is going to be in Scorpio in the second half of the week. So Scorpio, put some attention to yourself. I know I've been busy the last couple of days. I didn't work out yesterday. I don't. I feel really uh, not good for not working out yesterday. I haven't really been working out very hard. I've been riding the bike a lot. I haven't been focusing on myself. Uh, it would be nice too, but my arm is a little sore from the 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 shot. So I don't know. Moving forward, Scorpio joint finances. Uh, there is a hemorrhage of money, Scorpio. A hemorrhage of money and. Sure enough, I got asked a question yesterday which really upset a lot of people in this house uh, as it pertained to finances, and the answer is no. And so, uh, just letting you guys know, <laughs> when you share the videos, I'm pretty sure that person is going to see this, and the answer is no. So, that's the deal. Scorpio, money out, probably putting a lot of energy into joint finances right now. Maybe you're re renegotiating a mortgage. Maybe you're trying to get a loan to do something. There's a lot of energy happening in that aspect of your chart. Down here at Scorpio, your health should actually be pretty good. My health is pretty good. Oh, no. Scorpio. Oh, no. Oh, no. Scorpio is. Oh, Scorpio is attracting pets right now. Oh, no, there's a breakthrough. I talked about this in the overview. Oh, my goodness. SLC 
doing she's the cancer doing something in the background i hope essos i don't want a bunny right now i don't want to show up in chicago and there's a bunny sitting there there's like a bunny hutch there's like on dante my turtle there playing with a bunny no two pets are enough <laughs> turtle dog turtle dog not the time for a bunny baby damn Oh, no, no, no more pets right now. Anyway, Scorpio might be attracting pets. Scorpios might be attracting pets. And they're just sick. No, don't. No more pets. No more sneaky. No more. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's going to send me a picture of a bunny sitting beside on Dante. No pets. No more pets. Oh, man. Oh, man. What else is going on with Scorpio? Scorpio might get a new job. Things might, yeah, I know, no more pets. Oh, no. And so you might attract, Scorpio attracting pets. Scorpio's health should be pretty good. Very good time for Scorpios to get a new job. So the another uh, Scorpio office romance. Good time for an office romance. I'm not getting in any office romance. This is my office right here and there's no one comes here. And so uh, health time for, good time for Scorpios to get to the gym. Good time for Scorpios to get back in shape, which is, I guess is the great thing. Great time for an office romance for Scorpio. Scorpios are romantic right now. Uh, you know, they are thinking romance, even though they might screw it up. They're Scorpios, right? They screw up all... all Scorpios are notorious for screwing up all types of romance. So, good luck, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, bottom line, watch your money, watch your money, watch your money. Scorpio, you're attracting pets. Good luck. You know, you leave Chicago for next thing you know. Uh, now is not the time. SLC wants a bunny. I want, I want the, she likes the lop. The lops are really cool. I like the lop lion cross. I like them with the long ears and the big hair. <laughs> like long ears and big hair, buddy. I like the cross. It's really cute. It's a, no more. Oh my God. I, better, I gotta call my wife. Oh my God. I gotta call my wife. It's funny. This is, okay. Next, Scorpio. <laughs> oh no. Bean, memes is like it's bunny season. Oh man. Oh no. It's 3 30. Okay. Let's keep going. I, we, I have to push through because we have class tonight. Ten of Wands reverse. Scorpio, you're doing too much for people and you might not feel appreciated. That's so obvious. I'm doing so much for a lot of people right now. But I do feel appreciated. I very much feel appreciated. So no stress as far as that is concerned. And so maybe you guys aren't feeling appreciated. I don't know. All right, next. Then we have the Seven of Swords. Oh, my God. Someone's going to jerk your game sideways, Scorpio. Watch out for it. Be careful. Sc what the hell? Scorpio, watch the fine print. Watch the fine print. Watch the fine print. Scorpio is very much watch out. That someone doesn't trip your game up. Someone doesn't. Someone's gonna try and screw you over in the background, Scorpio. Look at this. Someone you've always been there for, or you think you've been there. You know, you can only do as much as you can do. You can't do everything. But someone you're there being there is gonna try and screw you over in the background, Scorpio. So straight up, watch your watch your game, watch your back. And you no, know, watch your game, watch your back. And then we have Ace of Wands. So new beginnings, new actions. I'm going to have to learn how to clean the poop out of a bunny cage. All right. No, Sonny, don't freak out. It, maybe it didn't happen. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> so, at, like I'm watching someone else's horoscopes. Okay, next. Wands. <laughs> it's Ace of Wands. New beginnings. Scorpios. And not to make anybody nervous on the channel, but there's some of you guys there I know are Scorpio Risings. Scorpio Risings. Maybe you guys are going to get new pets as well. Ooh. <laughs> and so... No, Scorpio. No, Sonny. Just pet names. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, I got to tell you guys. All right. There have been in so many situations I've been in in life. No, forget it. Next, Scorpio. The energy is gaining momentum. Scorpio, the energy is gaining momentum. All right. Next. Next, man. Oh. <clears throat> oh, man. It's bunny season. It's bunny season. Damn. 
Man, why you gotta pull those cards? <laughs> why you guys gotta be like that? So anyway, just tell it the way it is, man. Just the way it is. Wait, you guys didn't even say that. It was the horoscopes. All right, whatever. Okay. Next. Oh, <laughs> so... No men pets either. <laughs> no men pets. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, Scorpio, no men pets. That's for sure. Oh man, hey Erica, you should give Hellbeast a bunny. Can you imagine? <laughs> Hellbeast gets a pet. <laughs> that's funny. Oh man, I don't even want a pet name right now. We have two. It's not that we, it's like we just don't have. You know, you guys, when I do the horoscopes live in Chicago, I'm doing the readings, and the dog walks up all the time. Can you imagine if it's a dog and a bunny? The dog is so, needs so much attention. It's just, and it gets jealous. The dog gets jealous when I'm playing with the turtle. And so, yeah, I play with the turtle. Leave me alone. <laughs> the dog gets, oh, man. All right, Saji's up. All right, Saj, no picture. Sag, no picture because it takes me... Okay, there, you have a picture. There you go. It takes me forever to draw the centaur. Sag, whoa, Sag. Something is happening. Sagis are putting a lot, a lot of energy into relationships. A lot. So that's the action. That's the first action. Maybe Sagis are going to be fighting in relationships. Or maybe Sagis aren't going to feel appreciated in relationships. But Sagis are putting a lot, a lot, a lot of attention in relationships. Heads up, it's going to be good and bad. Now, there is a possibility that Sagis are going to get pregnant. Watch out for getting pregnant, Sag. You are, attack you are attracting children. You're attracting children. You're attracting love. You're very creative right now. You might be working on some kind of creative project. And that's the deal. So get out there, Sag, and work it. Don't worry about, you see Mars in the seventh house? Okay, well, there's a possibility with the North Node and all that there that Sagis are going to get divorced right now. So what? <laughs> so what? Sag, I don't think you care about it either. So, you know, there might be divorce. There might be cheating in relationships. Mars in the seventh by itself isn't necessarily cheating in relationships. But the watch out for your problems. You're putting energy into relationships. That's where the action is. Good things are happening with the kids. Good things are happening with romance. Just know that, just know that that's it. That's that's the deal. A lot of energy in relationships. Scorpio's attract, uh, Sagi's attracting a lot of love right now. It's a very very creative time for Sagittarius. Finally, Sagis are thinking about spending time at home. They're thinking about their mom. Second half of the week, Sagis are going to be reclusive and they're going to want to stay home and hang out in the background. First half of the week, Sagis are super social. Second half, they're going to hang in the background. Next, the Sun card reversed. Well, this is a great card to have, Sag. It means you are going to enter into the light of day. Very, very good card for Sagittarius. Unfortunately, it's reversed. So it's going to take a bit of time. You might have to step, uh, you might have to remove yourself from the spotlight for a second, which isn't that weird. You might be a little reclusive, uh, but astrologically, you are going to be reclusive in the second half of the week, or you are going to do things behind the scenes. You're going to do things out of the light in the second half of the week. So just be cool. But for the most part, so far with this card, do your best to take control of the situation. Oh, look at this, the four of wands. Hey, Saj, maybe you are going to get married. Maybe you're going to get married. Maybe you're going to renew some wedding vows. Maybe you're going to move on with things. This might actually be a very good week for Sagittarius. I have a feeling, however, you're going to capitulate to your partner. What is that? Capitulate, Erica. This The word capitulate here has nothing to do with anybody's horse or donkey or goat or swan. Maybe duck, but not swan. Um, you're going to capitulate to your partner, Sag. You're going to do what your partner wants you to do. But keep in mind, you are still the light. But your light is wounded right now. Saji's light is wounded somehow. So be cool and work through it. If you're looking for love, it might be there. Yeah, and Saji's aren't getting any peace. Four of swords. Sag, Sag, it's the brain. Saji's brains are working overtime. Saji's are completely stressed out right now. This means you do have to take a break 
but I don't think you can take a break. I think you need to take a break. But I don't think it's coming, Saj. So do your best to chill out, meditate, listen to one of the meditations on the on my YouTube channel here on the sunny side. Here, listen to some of the meditations. Listen to some of the meditation music. For those who don't who don't know, no, I was an extremely popular hypnotherapist and an extremely popular hypnotist for a large portion of my adult life. So check out some of the hypnosis stuff. And Sag, show the world the real you. Sag, show the world the real you and try not to stress out, right? The Four of Swords says to take a chill, but it's reversed. So I don't think you're able to take a chill. All right, next. All right, here we go. Capricorn is in the house. Capricorn is up. All right, let's see what's going on with Capricorn. <sighs> All right, let's go. Three signs left to go, and then I got to turn this into then I have to turn this into video. Cap re corn no Capricorn, here we go. Capricorn. Doo -doo -doo. Capricorn is up. All right, Cap. Hey, Capricorn. Really good. Okay, Capricorn, watch your health. Okay, Capricorn, watch your health. Watch your health. Watch your health. All right, Connie, have a wonderful day. It's great to see you again. Uh, stay out of trouble, and I'll see, you, I'll see you around. Wishing you the absolute best of a super beautiful day. Connie's a long time sunny side. All right, Capricorn, here we go. Mars in the sixth house. You are super duper busy. You and you are super busy. I don't know that you're Superman busy. But that's like, that's not busy. That's more like getting busy. All right, whatever. Capricorn's not getting busy right now. Capricorn is busy right now. Capricorns might be getting new jobs right now. Capricorns absolutely have to watch their health. Capricorns might have a breakthrough in their health. Capricorn just might have recently found out that they're actually sick. Or they might find out something about a new job or new health, new habits. Capricorn, take care of your health. Above anything else, Capricorn, watch your health right now. You are the number one stressed out sign of the entire zodiac. So take it all with a grain of salt, a lump of coal, and a shot of tequila, which is a pretty interesting party if you ask me, and roll with the action and keep those feet moving. Now's the time, Capricorn, to keep those feet moving. In a week or in about two weeks, Capricorn, Maybe three weeks, Capricorn. You're gonna pick up some. Uh, you're gonna have some legal situations come to your front door. So that's the deal. Just like Sag, Sagittarius might be going through a legal situation right now. So roll with all of that. Now, on the good news, good things are happening to Cappies at home. Maybe they're having checks in the mail. Maybe they're getting a break on the rent. Maybe their mom is doing really well. Uh, maybe they're gonna make some money from the house. Maybe it's a good time for Capricorns to sell their house. It's a good time for Capricorns to buy a house. Uh, it's a good time for Capricorns to move. You know, you might do very well if you move right now. Same with Pisces, very good time for Pisces to move. Uh, they might be forced to move. It's a little different for Pisces. It's a very good time for Capricorns to move. Uh, and that's about it. Money should be very good for Capricorns uh, on and off, on and off in spurts. Money should be very good for Capricorn. I'd say in about a week, okay, in about a week, Capricorns are going to put a lot of energy into making money, and they're probably going to make a big chunk of money. Not today, not this week, but next week, I see Capricorns making a big-ass chunk of quan. And that's the deal for Capricorn. Just watch your health, Cap. Watch your health, watch your health, and keep those feet moving. All right. Good things should be happening to your parent, to your mom. Capricorn, here we go. <laughs> you have a dog that thinks he's a cat, says two pets in one. Oh, Nikki. 
Okay, here we go. Next. The Four of Swords again, reverse. Wow, so Capricorn, maybe you can't rest right now. Well, Capricorn can't rest right now. This kind of card is kind of obvious. The Mars in the sixth house, that's going to make you super, super busy. Cap, you're also going to get haters at the office. I would expect a lineup at Starbucks if you still go to Starbucks. I haven't gone to Starbucks in forever, and I don't see myself going anytime soon. And Which is fascinating because I wrote my last book at the Starbucks up the street. I sat there every day outside writing my last book for slc the last hundred years of last hundred first time i wrote my last book that i wrote was called the first hundred days of love which were all the love notes uh, or all is like an active diary of love inspired inspired notes uh, that i wrote for slc documenting our first hundred days of love and i wrote it at that coffee shop so maybe when things resolve in a couple of weeks i'll and I'm stuck here in Toronto. Maybe I'll write my next book there as well. I'll do an astrology book or something. So I don't really see myself in the mood to write an astrology book. But maybe. Maybe I'm in Toronto. I don't know. Let me think about how, how I'm going to play things out. Capricorn, can't take a break. King of Cups. You know, Capricorn, maybe the love's not there. You know, this card, whoops, this card is reversed. Should have some responsibilities in love. Maybe someone is being a little grouchy as far as love is concerned. Maybe there are problems in the love game, Capricorn, and it's stressing you out and you can't rest. Maybe someone's giving you the silent treatment. Maybe someone is not manning up. Maybe someone is being a little irresponsible. Maybe someone is, I think, negative in the game of love, you know, and then you're not being treated the way you think you should be treated, and it's stressing you out a little bit and you can't rest. Here we go in the char chariot. Here's the answer to your question, to your situation. You have to chariot the game, man. That means you have to take control of the situation. See the guys taking control of the horses? So Capricorn, take control of your situation and you're going to feel a lot better. So I think there's a situation, Capricorn, where you're going through where you really want to show someone or some, you really want to show what's going on and you're not, You're. I think you might feel as if you're misrepresented in some way. Uh, in some way, you're feeling misrepresented. It's time for you to, to get out and make sure you're seen Make sure you take control of the situation and it's time to push back. Finally, a win-win outcome is forecast. A win-win outcome is forecast. Capricorn, the most important thing is to push back. The chariot card, push back. Just push back, man. Just take it easy. <laughs> Just take control of the situation and don't take any guff from anybody. There's something in this card that doesn't show up in this card. And that is, and that is. The guy's not wearing any armor in this card here. But in the story of Tarot, he is wearing armor. And it means don't let anyone push you around. It's cancer energy, right? The crab wears armor. The crab has a shell. And so that's the deal. The shell doesn't heal, by the way. So don't say, you know, I do understand the some. I'm aware, whether I understand it or not, I'm aware of the crack shell phenomena that the crabs go through emotionally. I am aware of it, uh, but you know, I'm not a cancer, so I, you know, I don't, can't really, you know, I respect it and I appreciate it, but I can't feel it because I don't go through it. Uh, as a Scorpio, we don't, scorpions don't crack their shell. We get stepped on and squashed out of existence. <laughs> it's totally different. Yeah. All right, next up. Ah, uh, ka, wa, Aquarius. I better not do that. That might really confuse some people. It might confuse the Virox. It might really stress out the Virox who are cross watching. <laughs> and you're like, oh, yeah, oh, ah, I don't get it. Where's you didn't you missed Aquarius? Okay, guys, not this week. <laughs> not this week. We'll go back to missing Aquarius next week. Aqua, what's your action? What's your action, Aqua? Ah, oops, oops. Okay. Hey, you know what, guys? When this, when this, in a couple of years, when Pluto crosses over into Aquarius, all ass hell is going to break loose. You guys know that, right? You must, you must identify, you must realize when Pluto finally crosses over, we're going to have one hell of an experience here. Society is going to rise up. 
Now, we know that uh, the United States is going through its Pluto return. I haven't really done much about that, but I'm going to have to tell you guys about that soon enough. All right, next. Aquarius is up. Aqua, wow, Aqua, you might be getting a new car. There you go. New cars, new cell phones, new computers. Vroom. Vroom. All right, there you go. Aqua, someone might give you a car. Someone might give you a computer. Someone might give you a cell phone. Maybe some good things are happening to your brothers and sisters. Money from you should be coming from your brothers and sisters right now. So if you're looking for money, Aqua, check your brothers and sisters out. And well, that's the deal. It's also a very, very good time for sales for Aquarius. So that's the deal. Aquas might be getting new cars, computer, cell phones. Very good time for sales for Aqua. On the negative side, Aquas are probably fighting with the kids right now, so watch out for it. They might be putting a lot of energy into taking care of the kids, getting everything settled for the kids, maybe taking kids to the doctors, maybe fighting with the kids. Maybe the kids are acting up. Maybe the kids are getting sick. Watch out for all of that. If you don't have any kids, don't worry about it. It's all about, it's a very creative and romantic time for Aquarius as well. Aquarius might be putting a lot of energy into love and not necessarily relationships, but dating and maybe relationships, but they're putting a lot into their love life right now. And there's a possibility that it's not reciprocated. Seriously. Or it's a possibility that your boyfriend's going to buy you a cell phone. But there's, uh, you're putting a lot of energy into love. You're doing a lot to help out these people in love. It's also a time of putting a lot of energy into creative projects, putting a lot of energy into just getting things done. You know, you might have, Aquas might have, new breakthroughs in your love life this week. However it works, whatever that means to you, new breakthroughs in love, you might get pregnant, new breakthroughs in pregnancies, you might have uh, a creative project you've always wanted to do, right? North Node always wanted to do a big breakthrough on a creative project. And that's the deal for Aqua. You know, get out there, make the sale, make the sale, make the sale. There's also a possibility Aquas might be having a lot of headaches right now and so do that so do that aqua and be cool children are highlighted creative projects are highlighted the um your love life is totally totally highlighted yeah we're gonna be there soon enough we're gonna get to the aqua soon we're gonna get to the pisces soon shortly i think it's gonna be worth it pisces seriously i've been waiting too i'm waiting with you guys oh here we go <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, nine of swords. Okay, Aqua, here we go. Something is coming along. This is the card of bad dreams. So what am I going to say? It's not really second guessing yourself. So don't, like, I don't know the rest of the cards yet. But so far, it's not second guessing yourself. It's bad dreams. Aqua is a psychic sign. So they might be having premonitions. You might be having bad dreams. You might be having odd thoughts. Just don't let these ideas or thoughts or dreams or what have yous manifest into a bad experience. Got that, Aqua? Take a chill and let it be cool. Let it be cool. Let it be cool. Let it be cool. Calm down and let it, let it play out. Oh, then the world. You're back at the beginning. So maybe there's a situation where you're having, uh, not necessarily back at the beginning, but you're kind of back at the beginning, it, it is back at the beginning, time to move on. It's the card of karma. It's absolutely Saturn energy. This is the card of karma. It's time, Aqua, like you've gone full circle. You've gone full circle and you're worried about something. I don't know what you're worried about, but you've gone full circle. You're back at the beginning. Back at the beginning, Aqua, so new, break, new breakthroughs in old things. You know, you're back at the beginning. You're worried about something. What else is going on? And the devil card. I think you're worried that you might have been goofing off, right? The devil card is all about goofing off and blaming other people, and it's reversed. So maybe you're worried that other people are going to blame you. Maybe something is going to happen, Aqua. Maybe the kids are going to blame you. You're worried about the kids blaming you. Maybe people at work are going to blame you. Maybe your love partner is going to blame you. But I don't think any of this is new. I think you've absolutely been here before, and you kind of, or you're worried. Maybe Aqua is worried that they've been here before, they've seen the signs before, and they're worried about what's going to happen. 
The devil card is about goofing off. It's about giving into temptation. And it's reversed. So, like, I think you're worried about getting blamed for all of this temptation and all of this nonsense all around you. Just be cool, Aqua. It's just gonna, it's, it might, it's gonna be okay. Seriously? Aaliyah, does this actually, does it make sense to you guys? I'm just reading the cards. <laughs> I'm just reading the cards, see what they say. And then finally, it's time to take action. Aqua, it's time to take action. But you've, but, but you've absolutely been here before. Hey, just a reminder, guys, I'm going to, uh, we're, we're back online. At se we're not online here, but the class is at 7 o'clock. So everybody who's uh, in the class, level 1 and 2, it's level 1 tonight, but all level 2 guys are welcome. If you don't get an email from me at 7 o'clock Eastern, then message me, and I'll, I'll send you the link. All right, next. All right, Pisces, here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, Pisces is up. Let's see. I wonder what's going on with Pisces. You know Pisces. Okay, let's let me write down Pisces before I start talking here. Yeah, Pisces, take the good with the bad. This is an interesting, interesting, going to be an interesting time for you. Okay, Pisces. All right, so Pisces, here we go. Pisces, watch out for problems at home. First up, Pisces, watch out for problems at home. You might get um, be forced to move. Pisces might be forced to move. Pisces might be renovating their house, right? Mars in the fourth house, reno renovating your house. Um, that's the deal. Uh, you might, again, force to move, buying a new house, renovating your house, watch out for problems at home. Just regular stuff. Watch out for the health of your mom straight ahead. But this is something you've always wanted to do, Pisces. So I highly believe, so I believe you should just go with it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, and you will be successful. Right now, you probably have the money to do it, right? Money is probably really good right now for Pisces. So you have the money. You're going to receive money for work already done. It's not like you're going to win. the. I don't think you're going to win the lottery right now, Pisces. But I do think you're going to get paid. Uh, you might get a big government check, right? That's happening to everybody. So I think money is good. And your home life might be a little bit of a mess. You might be forced, again, forced to move, forced to renovate the house. Uh, watch out for the health of your parents. Guys got that? Money good, doing stuff at home, maybe forced to move. On top of that, way at the top of the chart, this is a money time for you. The first half of the week is all money. And the second half of the week, you're going to want to travel or you're going to want to study. Travel. Second half of the week, travel, study, get out of town, get out of town, take it easy, relax, right? First half of the week, very stressful, money, money, money. Second half of the week, Take it easy, get out of town, take a vacation, read a book, you know, deal with people from different cultures and just keep your sh keep it all together. But for the most half part, money is good. Money is good. You're probably looking good. People are talking about you. Uh, just try not to stress anything out. Try not to stress it out because there's a lot that's happening, right? This is a big deal. This note thing is a very big deal and it can be very stressful for people. All right, what else? What else is up? Let's read the cards, and then we'll do our thing here. First up, Pisces. You need it now. Oh, David, thinking about traveling a lot. Yeah, it's a good time to travel, and you need the money now. Well, you, you're you doing your house. You've got your whole thing to do. All right, temperance reversed. So temperance indicates uh, mixing the pieces together to make it work, and it's reversed. So you're probably not Pisces probably not getting the support that you want. Look at this. Astrologically, astrologically, you're not really getting the support, right? There's nothing over here. You're not really getting the support. You'd like the support, but you're not really getting it. It's kind of you doing your own thing. So coming back, you know, this temperance says to soften your stance, meet people halfway, but like it's not happening. And, you know, like I would imagine that another... Tarot reader or another psychic would say, 
or another astrologer would say, ah, oh, you know, meet them halfway, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to do that. They need to meet you halfway and it's not happening. So by all means, go do your thing. And don't put up with any nonsense from anybody. Seriously, don't put up with any nonsense from anybody. But you do have to figure out a way. Figure temperance. Figure out a way to make it work. Then we have the page of wands reversed. So there is uh, some physical stuff involved here. There's a, there is a new beginning that's a little halted. It's not everything you expected it to be. You see, if these cards were right side up, this would be a very good reading. Uh, to some extent, not everybody likes temperance, right? Not everybody likes to meet people halfway, but Pisces does. And not everybody likes this page of wands, you know, this new breakthrough, you know, learning curve, breakthrough stuff, new activities and stuff. And anyways, but it's all reversed. So, oh man, that card's staying crooked, whatever. But it's all reversed. So you're going to expect some stops and starts in whatever you're doing right now, Pisces. Expect some stops and starts. Yeah, no, seriously, guys, that's that's what I'm seeing. And finally, the seven of coins. Okay, seven of coins. This is a good card. This is the card of the things are happening right now. Your tree is about to blossom. It's in bloom. It's not time to harvest the crops. It's kind of a waiting period. See, it's five, six, seven. You're like five, six, seven. It's... Um, the middle deacon, it's holding on. It's just sitting there. It's Taurus energy. And so the seeds have already been planted. The tree is about to bloom. But these buckets, these baskets are empty. It is not the time to harvest crops. It's time to take it easy and do what you do and allow things to work out. It's going to be successful. It's going to be successful. It's just now is not the time to freak out or stress out or, you know, or to it's just keep going. You know, just keep going. Just keep doing your thing. Uh, you're going to have to go your own way, but you're gonna, I think you're going to be okay. Look, full moon in Pisces. Balance spirituality and practicality. That's right. Or kick him where the sun don't shine. <laughs> Balance spirituality and practicality, Pisces. I think everything is going to be okay for Pisces. That's the deal. Your Temperance is reversed. Page of Wands is reversed. I don't see you getting any help anytime soon. But the Seven of Coins says you probably don't need any help right now either. Just do your thing. Keep your feet moving. Because astrologically, we have a lot of breakthroughs. This should be a good time for Pisces. A very, very good time for Pisces. Uh, you know, provided that your mom uh, doesn't get sick. All right. And that brings us to this week's Lucky in Love Signs. This... Well, Oh, <laughs> this week's lucky in love signs are doo -doo 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 Aries. And well, that's it. We had a full moon. We had a full moon. So it's Aries and Libra with Taurus and Scorpio heating up fast. That's the action. This week's lucky in love signs are Aries and Libra with Taurus and Scorpio heating up fast. As for everyone else, you're super amazing. Fantastic wing. And pick up the check, yo, from the sunnyside.net. I'm sunny, reminding everybody to subscribe to the channel. Definitely, please give the video a thumbs up. Share the videos if you feel so inclined. And when you're ready for a personal reading, hit the PayPal link in the description box below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that's the action from the sunnyside.net. I'm sunny, wishing everyone the best. Super beautiful. And I'll see you guys soon.